Raven Tactical Karambit is a self-protection company. We focus on teaching world knife tactics and high-risk encounters. This is taught through our Datlo Dalim system. When we started, we only had police and emergency personnel in the mine. But simply, they faced more high-risk encounters. Although with the change in the world, it seems chaos and danger is around every corner. More and more people are falling victim to unprovoked attacks. We simply want to give you, the mother, the runner, the police officer, an Get upper back. hand. Get back. We don't follow a traditional guideline, although our foundation, building blocks you can say, it all comes from the Philippines. And we will always pay homage to those who have taught and cleared a path for others to teach. My blade, alright? My blade, hold it. That look, the is based on personal knowledge and statistical attacks, which basically means we evolve and adapt to the need of today. We're learning from the past, but never, never, never being stuck in it. Our training is one similar scene in a police academy setting. Our instructor has been a licensed State of Texas instructor since 1998 and understands that everybody learns at a different level. Can get to your gun to protect your life, then do it. Use it. We focus on high risk knife tactics because of its simplicity. You can walk out of any store, you can walk to your car with a knife in your hand without causing alarm. This isn't necessarily the case with a pistol. All we're saying is we want to give you something else to add to your arsenal. Something else that you can walk in confidence with. Something else in case that pistol happens to fail. It doesn't have to be just a knife. This program works well with sharp things in general. I did a demonstration not too long ago using my business card. Drew blood and inflicted minor damage. The human mind plays a giant role in survival on both sides. You can find, you can find a sharp object in almost any store or restaurant. But sadly, very few would know what to do with it if the time came and it was your only option to survive. I've said it before, and you know, I'll keep saying it. The most readily available weapon is the most undertrained. You can relate that however you want. You can relate it to yourself. You can relate it to uh, a knife. You can relate it to a rock. You can, you can relate it to a pack of bubble gum if you want. It doesn't matter what you have to use to survive as long as you are using something to survive. But most importantly is, what have you done to train with it? What have you done to train with that pack of bubble gum? What have you done to train with that rock? What have you done to train with that pistol? What have you done to train with that knife? I honestly think that too many people just take life for granted. I think nothing's going to happen to them until it does. Drive your vehicle enough, it's only a matter of time before you're involved in an accident, whether it be minor or whether it be major. I'm shocked at how so many people don't have a plan to survive an attack or fail to plan their jogging or shopping route. I'm really taken back when I hear that police officers only train when it's paid for by their department and depend solely on academy training to get them out of a jam. I believe life is just too valuable. You know, it's sad, but most people wait until after they've been a victim before they invest in themselves. You know, those are the lucky ones. They actually get to go back and, and rewrite. 
most departments change their policy or SOP only after a critical incident? Why not plan and train for it before it happens? One of the most scariest things a police officer can face is having his weapon taken. For a woman, it's being sexually assaulted. Give yourself the upper hand. The simplicity and legal right is all yours. If you want to learn something new and add a new tool to your arsenal of protection, we would love to train with you. <laughs>